Time once again for Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack who's gone to the dog. Where are you guys? We're over here. Oh, oh. oh, Dr. Bob, it's so dark, you can't see your hand in front of your face. That's okay, I remember what it looks like. It's brown and has these five pointy things sticking out. <laughs> Dr. Bob, cancel the operation. It's too dangerous. Nobody can see anything. Well, if that includes the audience, it'll be the safest bit we've ever done. <laughs> Just a second. Ah! That's a miner's lamp. Yes, and a pick. <laughs> now, where's the patient? Wait, you can't use a pick on the patient. I can on the patient's pockets. <laughs> now, where is he? Well, right here, Dr. Bob. He was trying to fix the power line and got a severe shock. Oh. When he sees who his doctor is, he'll get another one. <laughs> no, not that kind of shock. He's had 10,000 volts. Ooh. Gee, that should be enough to get him elected. <laughs> what was he running for? The hills, if he had any sense. <laughs> uh, not votes, volts. Oh, in that case, run some volts through him again. Again? Yes, it's called revolting. <laughs> it certainly is. And so we come to the end of another veterinarian's hospital. Tune in next week when you'll hear Dr. Bob say... Listen, if it's still dark when the patient comes to, give him this. What? That's a ballpoint pen with a little light. Mm -hmm. What good is that? He can see to sign a check. <laughs> <laughs>